Now we've we finished our snack. We have to do our cleanup. Now here I'll show you what we do to clean up our table. And first we take one of these foil packages. It's an over package that our food comes in to protect it. And they're handy to use to stuff our other food items in because you can compact them more and it doesn't take as much volume in the trash. And what you do is you segregate your garbage by those that's just basically wrappers and things like that which won't spoil. And we put that in one kind of a garbage can and we try to compact it as much as we can. And then we take another kind of garbage, things that will spoil, and we put that in a separate garbage can and I'll show that later. And what I'm doing there off to the side, those are handrails on the table. Things that are wet, like the, the napkins, I park them there and let them evaporate out so we can reclaim as much water as possible. So just little moistures here and there, we, we let our tissues dry out and, and then that will get recycled in our life support equipment. And here I'm, I'm taking the lid off of the can, I just push it into the can. And if we, that can needs to go into the garbage, uh, the, the spoilable garbage, there are cleaning up the can opener again. If you don't clean up the can opener, you can imagine what it would be like after about six months. Um, but anyway, that can of honey needs to go into the perishable garbage, but those cans take up a fair amount of room. So you need to compact the can. But there's the perishable garbage bag right there that's being sealed with a rubber band, and it's a, it's an airtight bag. So there, there's our can. And uh, you, you you need to crush it. And so what we do for a can crusher, we use the handrails on the on the, the galley table, and you you smash down each side like that. And after you've smashed the side, you got to clean the handrail off because it gets a little sticky. And then you you push on a little bit with your thumbs. And then you fold it over and you, and you squeeze on it really hard because you've you got to make it as small as you can. And this is good EVA strength grip practice. If you take all of your, your cans and you end up uh, eating through the course of a meal and you smash them up like that, it, it's, it's good uh, uh, strength training exercise. And then you take your little bag and it, the top is sealed with a rubber band that's put around the handrail there. And we put all our perishable food in these little bags. We twist the top, make sure they're tight, and then we stick the neck around uh, that rubber band again. And, and, and then when that little bag gets full, then we put those in the paw grass. Now I, I take that damp tissue and I wipe off the table and we use scissors to open up a lot of packages and they tend to get all sticky gooey so you want to clean up your scissors as well. And then when you're done you can park your, your uh, wet tissue by the side of the table there and let it, the water evaporate out so you can reclaim it.